Okay. All right, Julia. So season five of Real Housewives of Miami, how does it feel to be back? Just, uh, God, all I could do is smile. Uh, Feels incredible. Uh, I'm so happy that I'm part of the show and I hope I'll stay there for a long time. It's being incredible experience all around. Oh, I love that. Now, last season was like your first time ever with the franchise. Did you go back and watch some of the episodes and were you kind of, how? what was your reaction? Were you excited? Were you embarrassed at some of the scenes? Like, take me back to all the feelings you had when you watched yourself on screen after the fact. In bed with covers on and sometimes <laughs> Like that, like that, and then kind of like putting down the covers and watching. I watched it maybe like seriously, like three times or four times each episode. I was like, first I was like, and then I was studying it, you know, and seeing and looking at more professional way on it. More just self-criticism, of course, having fun, looking at other girls and learning. Um, And yeah, sometimes I still go back and watch, you know? Yeah. So how has the fan reaction been? I'm sure you've gained a lot of new followers and not a lot of new people that love you. This was, you were the first housewife that came, that was out in the entire history of the franchise. So how has it been just interacting with the fans? It's, it's an incredible feeling that your, like, you know, your simple life can actually help somebody to the extent that people write to me and then they write back and sharing the experience what happened to them relating their life story to mine asking me questions and then writing back saying that something I said actually helped them Mm -hmm. so it's so rewarding to see this connection with people Uh, I see sometimes people stop me on the street and they say the sweetest sweetest things whether it's about the LGBT community or about my animals, you know, or just in mm-hmm. general, just to connect with you. This is what I hear most of the time, that we relate, we connect, and I relate and connect too, you know, so it's a genuine connection, which I love. Um, so that's changed my life, being on the show this way, to meet so many new people, and uh, being a little part of so many people's lives. Yes, I love that. So with this new season, you're not a rookie anymore. So what did you want to bring to this new season? Like, what did you want fans to get out of Julia this season? (laughs) Well, um, I, I keep sharing my life. You will see more of my family dynamic with Martina Mm -hmm. and uh, some of the incredible changes that happened to me kind of life happens <laughs> when you're just sitting there and things happen which was some some of it was, was within my control some just happened and if you would have told me that before we start filming I would have never believed you but it happened you know I daredeviled myself for some things and um, uh, my life completely changed mm-hmm. since the beginning of the season and then of course I got to know much more some of the ladies and I know pretty well now who is capable of what and who is who mm-hmm. and you know I don't like drama but I defend myself and I defend my friends and I'm not shy I maybe some people take my kindness for weakness but mm-hmm. you are wrong if I need to headbutt somebody I've learned it very well from my goats I go straight to the point <laughs> I have no time. I'm completely unleashed I felt like that a little bit, but I just didn't have the kind of the lungs to show it yeah. last year. But this year, I mean, there is absolutely nothing that I'm scared of. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's how I live my life. I maybe didn't show it that much last year on the show, but this year, I think, you know, I speak up my mind always. Yes, I love I not talk about, you know. Yes, I love that. And, you know, Everyone knows the Housewives franchise. You have to have that comeback ready. You have to be ready to defend yourself. So I'm excited to see this new Julia and what you're going to bring this season. (laughs) Now, you mentioned um, friendships. I read that there's a few friendship shifts and dynamics this season. Are you affected by any? I know last season we saw a ton of, 
you know, things with you and your BFF, Adriana. So are you guys affected or what's that new dynamic with friendships this season? True friendships never get affected. So Adriana and I were still as strong as ever. I did, I became close to some of the other ladies, you know, mm-hmm. Nicole and I, are, you know, really close. I love Gertie. She's so much fun. Yes, Lisa, you know, yes. So we hang out organically together on and off camera all the time. And mm. then some of the other ladies, you know, the, there are misunderstanding. There are things that I don't stand for. Like I, I don't agree. And I have no um, shyness kind of. I, I don't, I'm not shy to express my opinion. I say what I think and I defend what I believe in. Um, yeah. by the way. And I cannot be just like brushed off uh, or sweet talked into something mm. and I kind of I see when sometimes people are a little bit sneaky or they have a strange reason behind it uh, so I'm paying more attention and like immediately like you know headbutting <laughs> without yeah. being pretty but just like straight to the point I don't let um, bad behavior slide anymore Yes, I love that. I don't know. It's a different energy I feel like I'm getting from Julia this season. So I'm I'm really excited. You're very firm on not letting things slide this time around. <laughs> so no. I saw um just reading up on the new season, you're an empty nester now. So how has that transition been for you with your daughter going to college? It's hard. You know, people say at a certain time your kids will fly away. It's normal, but you never actually feel it until you experience it. And it hits you hard and you're never really ready for it. Oh, God. Um, but again, um, it's just you have to kind of ground yourself and say, this is life. Take mm-hmm. life what it is. Stop feeling self pity so much because my daughter's. I'm not happy if they would see me cry all the time. So I'm kind of struggling even now with myself to hold my emotions in that respect. So Mm -hmm. I don't upset my girls nagging all the time and like, when are you coming home? I miss you. Because of course I miss you, but I I want them to come back to me. Like I will bribe them with food, you know, cook for them when they come. So I'll lure them back home this way. But um, I'm like biting my lips and my fingers not to call and say, oh, please, I'm crying. Come back. I miss you. <laughs> you know, I'm saying it to like my mirror, to Martina, to my dogs, yeah. like, to my dogs, to my plants, whatever. But then when I call them, I will be like, hi, how was your day? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, everything OK? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, you can always come home. And then I'm trying not to go too much that kind of road to make them feel guilty yeah and you know yeah and that's just the mother's love and you have to you know keep them encouraged so you can't you can't show them that you're too sad but you also have to be supportive at the same time so I I'm not a parent but I understand my mom was the same way when I went to school (laughs) but um well thank you so much for your time Julia I look forward to seeing the new season and you know good luck on everything I'm excited to see how everyone responds (laughs) Thank you. Thank you.